Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. I might be broke as a joke, but I bought the cheapest demo in the UK. How much I've paid for it, I'm gonna let you know at the end of the video, but now I gotta go and pick it up. The journey to Oxford is gonna take more or less about four hours, so let's get it on. It's nothing like the sound of the four-cylinder diesel in the morning. Dimitri, start the engine. Oh yeah. First of all, we gotta get to central London somehow, but you can see what's going on here. By the way, I'm gonna be tracking my physical activity on the Honor Watch Magic. Picking up the car, so stay tuned for the full review real soon. And I finally made it to Oxford, but now I gotta catch a bus. <laughs> Should have brought my gimbal with me. So, after almost four and a half hours, three different means of transport and 5,000 steps, I'm almost there, guys. We've got another 10 minute walk, and uh, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, guys, so I finally arrived at the scene. I got the car and check this out. Ta da da da! <laughs> Daimler 6, 1996, built by Jaguar, six-door limousine, check this out guys. Okay guys, so in order to be 100% correct, that was actually a Daimler 6. So straight away it went to Eagle Cars to be converted to a six-door limo, so the new name is Daimler X3000. Daimler is basically the highest level of trim for the Jaguar XJ6 back in the day. It has some terrible wrapping, uh, apparently it's been used in some sort of a twin town challenge uh, kind of a rally from Oxford to uh, somewhere in France, I really don't know. But yeah, it survived apparently and I just bought it. <laughs> Man, and that is long, that is long, that's absolutely massive guys. So, what do we have under the hood? Well, let me show you what we are dealing with. It's already unlocked, so I'm just gonna start this baby over here, guys. It's a little bit dirty, but I'm gonna take care of that a little bit later on. Okay, let's pop this hood open and let's see what we have under the hood, guys. Yes, baby, a Daimler flat six four liter engine. As you see, it starts the first time and it's running perfectly fine a little bit of rust over here but i can't really complain so yeah engine wise starts and drives the suspension is in good condition i can't really reveal anything more at this stage of the video guys all i'm gonna say is thank you very much for watching that's gonna be a series of uh, videos where I show you what's wrong with the car and is it worth actually repairing guys or to be honest with you I have totally no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but how much I've paid for it? 1021 pounds guys, which is an absolute bargain at least in my mind you might think that I'm mad but man Let's put a little bit of fuel in it 
uh, or maybe not. Okay guys, so it's time to take the limo home. I'm currently on the M40 doing 57 miles an hour. I'm taking the car from Oxford to London. So yeah, the car runs and drives. And let me tell you that the suspension is actually in excellent condition, guys. Uh, the engine is nice and smooth. The noises that you're hearing at the moment are wind noises from the front doors. I really don't know what's going on over here, but to be honest with you, I didn't really have the time to uh, test anything in this car. I just went and I picked it up because I've paid for it up front without even seeing it. So, 1,000 pounds, why not? So yeah, as I said, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about what's wrong with the car and was it worth it or not, guys, but so far, so good.